Hey everybody, what's going on? The Montreal Canadiens kicked off their 2024-25 campaign this week and there's plenty to dive into in this video. Before we get started with this video, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's as easy as clicking in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Now, the Montreal Canadiens opened their season with one win and one loss. They shut out the Toronto Maple Leafs on opening night by a score of 1 to nothing, and they followed that up with a disappointing 6 4 loss to the Boston Bruins on Thursday evening. Let's start with the Maple Leaf game. I thought there were at least some positives to take from that game, although a lot of the credit is going to go to Samuel Montembeau in net, and it's very deserved. I think the Habs defense did a really nice job of keeping the shots outside. There weren't a lot of high danger chances in the home plate area for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but when Montembeau was called upon, he was very reliable, and I think that's going to be a huge trend this year. Every time he steps onto the ice for the Montreal Canadiens, he's going to give them a chance to win. And that's a big thing for the confidence of a young team that's still learning and growing together. To have that type of goaltending on a consistent basis is imperative if this team wants to take another step this season. And I think that Montembeau is that guy. Of course, you don't want to overreact to one start. But I just think the body of work now from Montembeau is enough where you can start to call him a legitimate number one goalie in the NHL. So that's an extreme positive. On the other end of the goaltending spectrum, you have Caden Primo, who was lit up in Boston on Thursday night. And there weren't a lot of positives from his game. There were multiple weak goals. And he kind of continued the trend of having a poor preseason and carrying that over into the regular season. I'm not sure when he's going to start next for the Montreal Canadiens. But you have to figure that he's got to be in a better headspace. He can't be letting in those goals that are backbreakers. After the Habs got it to 5-4 in that game, he lets in an absolute stinker to make it 6-4. And that just can't happen, especially with this type of young team. They can't be playing catch-up like that on a consistent basis. And Primo needs to be much better, much like the goalie we saw last year down the stretch. I think he has it in him. But I think that he needs to just build on his confidence and just know that he's an NHL goalie because right now he didn't seem like he was confident last night and that was a big issue for him in net. He had difficulty finding his post and he just wasn't the type of goaltender that is going to lead to any success for this Montreal Canadiens team. When you talk about up front, Cole Caulfield's gotten off to a nice start to the season with goals in back-to-back -back games. That's going to be a big theme for this Montreal Canadiens team. He needs to continue to score goals at a high clip. I don't think it was sustainable for him to shoot 8% last year. And I don't think it was sustainable for him to shoot nearly 17% earlier in his career either. I think he's in the range of 12 to 14. And I think that's going to make him a 30 to 35 goal scorer in the National Hockey League for a very long time. I thought in game two, the bottom pairing really struggled with Justin Barron and Arbor Jacki. Enough so that Martin St. Louis mixed up the pairings moving forward. And I think that Wayne Hudson just continued to show what he's capable of on the back end. He's just a very elusive player. He's thinking the game two steps ahead. Very smart hockey IQ. Very crafty with his hands and his edge work. I think he's going to be a joy to watch this season and with the Montreal Canadiens just throughout his career. He's the type of defenseman this team has been missing. And I think it's only a matter of time before he starts to get more time on the Montreal Canadiens power play. One unit, specifically on opening night when the Habs had the five on three. It's absolutely imperative that Lane Hudson gets onto that unit when they have that chance. I can understand why Matheson is still quarterbacking them on a regular five on four, but Hudson has to be on the ice when you have a five on three. That's absolutely integral to this team's success, especially when you factor in that they just don't score on five on threes in general, and it's been a long time coming. So I think that Hudson is just going to continue to see his responsibilities grow, but I don't think it's the worst thing in the world for Martin St. Louis to continue easing him in from that perspective and not make him think the game too much because he is still a rookie. He's only played four NHL games, but he does have four points in his first four games, and I think that's really encouraging when you factor in what he's going to be capable of with this defense moving forward. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the Montreal Canadiens' first two games of the season and what you think they're going to look like heading into Saturday's home tilt against the Ottawa Senators. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.